The bold flavor, the tantalizing aroma, the rich dark color, the crackle of a brewing pot, and the warmth of the cup in your hand. A cup of coffee engages all of our senses. It's no wonder why people have relished coffee for hundreds of years. Coffee was grown in the Ethiopian highlands. Legend has it that a goat herder witnessed his goats eating cherries off a bush with a very positive reaction. Coffee as we know it was really brewed and consumed first in Arabia hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Today, coffee is a daily staple for one-third of Americans. Yet many never wonder how much effort it takes to brew a single pot. Coffee gets its start in warm climates from Africa to South America to Hawaii. Coffee plants produce a small round fruit called cherries. At the heart of the cherry lies the coffee bean. It takes about 2,000 cherries to make just one pound of coffee, and most cherries are hand-picked. After the cherry is picked, it goes through a process at source country that includes depulping, washing and drying of the cherry, and then uh, taking the hard husk off of the cherry before it's put into sacks that we receive here. From there, the coffee is uh, warehoused in individual silos, and we blend at certain percentages individual components before sending them to the roasters. The roasting of the coffee maximizes the flavor of the coffee and delivers the exact cup or taste that the roaster is trying to deliver and the consumer expects. There are two main species of coffee, Robusta and Arabica. Robusta is popular with some coffee companies because the plant is resistant to drought and disease and also yields more fruit. But Arabica beans are preferred by gourmet coffee roasters and discriminating coffee drinkers for their richer flavor. Robustas have a characteristic straw or rubber flavor, which is not typically what you would look for in a great cup of coffee. Arabicas have a much richer, more complex flavor that might have fruity or floral notes, and that's what consumers have really come to enjoy. It seems that with the growth in the gourmet industry, people have become a lot more in tune to the differences with Arabica coffees and start to look for certain flavor profiles that they really enjoy in specific blends. Recent research also suggests that coffee is a health food. Coffee consumption has been linked to reduced risk of diabetes, Parkinson's, colon cancer, and even cavities. Coffee is also an energy booster, but there are decaffeinated and 50% decaf blends available for those concerned about caffeine. With so much good news about coffee, there's no question it will remain an integral part of our wake-up routine. Research shows that the younger user, 18 to 24 year demographic, is drinking more coffee today than they ever have. As a matter of fact, the number of consumers has doubled in the last four years alone. These things, compounded with all the positive health news associated with coffee, should lead to future growth in many, many years to come for the coffee category. For nearly 150 years, 8 o'clock coffee has been satisfying consumers seeking great tasting coffee. Just as it did in 1859, 8 o'clock coffee uses only the finest Arabica beans, making it the most popular whole bean coffee in the United States. The company has changed quite a bit, especially in the last four or five years. Prior to that, as you may know, 8 o'clock was owned by A&P grocery stores for 144 years. In the last four to five years, though, A&P sold 8 o'clock to a private equity firm. The private equity firm later, later turned around and sold us to Tata, a multi-billion dollar Indian conglomerate. During this time, we've driven sales increases, we've gained distribution, we're in most retailers across the United States, we've introduced new items, and we've brought in a lot of coffee expertise to the company. Eight O'Clock Coffee's specialty blends are famous for their smooth and rich taste. It's taken a tireless pursuit of the world's best Arabica beans to develop the unmatched flavor that has won over millions of Americans. We source our beans from all over the world. We buy many beans from Central and South America, also from Africa and Asia. What we do is we develop our blends to really utilize certain characteristics that are 
common in different growing areas. So we may select a certain bean from South America that gives good body in the cup and another bean from Africa that gives good acidity in the cup and we would choose to blend those. Over the years, as Americans' tastes have evolved, so has 8 o'clock coffee. 8 o'clock coffee now delivers a variety of whole bean and ground coffee flavors, each roasted to perfection. 8 o'clock offers 100% Arabica ground and whole bean coffees. We offer blends, single origins like our award-winning 100% Colombian. We offer flavors, decafs, and a variety of roast levels to make sure we appeal to the varying tastes that consumers have today. The bag's freshness valve guarantees the coffee inside is as fresh as the moment it was roasted. The way the freshness valve works is that it only operates in one direction. Therefore, it allows the pressure of the gases coming off the coffee to be relieved without blowing up the package. Because of the freshness valve, we are enabled to pack the coffee as close to the roasting time as, as physically possible, therefore delivering the freshest product to the customer. With so many blends, there has never been a better time to savor 8 o'clock coffee. The 8 o'clock coffee company has a very bright future. First of all, we've got a tremendous team in place with terrific passion. We've got great products, and those are obviously two of our most important assets. Innovation will also drive a significant part of our future growth as we continue to address unmet consumer needs. Finally, there's an opportunity to leverage the synergies across some of the top, top companies, particularly among our sister companies of Good Earth and Tetley Tea, who, like the 8 o'clock, share tremendous brand equity.